Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm inside my Grand Design Imagine 2600 RV travel trailer. And most Grand Designs have the same kind of control center. Um, the lights that are inside the interior and the awning lights that are underneath can be quite bright at nighttime. So what we're going to do today is we're going to replace those switches with these knobs which actually will dim the LEDs. They come with, uh, well they didn't come with, but I'll show you in the links below um, where to get the materials, but the, the knobs come from one place and then you get a 3D printed faceplate that will replace this switch completely. So it should be a pretty easy mod. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. Our first step is going to be to remove the six screws and get this control panel pulled off the wall. And then realize you can save yourself a lot of time if you can use a drill driver. So I should have said this earlier, but please make sure that you are unplugged from shore power and your battery's on disconnect when we're doing these steps just to make sure nothing goes wrong. We want to pop out each one of the two switches here one at a time. We're not going to disconnect the wiring yet though so we don't get confused and screw up what wires are what. You can use a flathead screwdriver and just kind of push on the back of the tab and then push forward and kind of sneak the switch out from the front. So you can see the first one is out. So the body of this LED dimmer is too wide to fit through the housing if you were going to put it in from the outside. So what I have to do actually is take the, whoops, the nut that just fell off and separate the 3D printed faceplate from the knob itself. So what I will do then is I'm going to place the 3D printed new part on here first and snap it in place like so. And then I can take the switch and I can put it in from behind. And then we have to hook the wiring up the right way. It's going to be the black wire is going to go to the red. And then the from the switch, the red and white that we've tied together are going to go to this pinkish one here, which is our positive. So just hook those together like that. And then from our red wire that has the fuse attached to it that's the one that goes to the black from my led dimmer switch and just put those in like that and then i'll get my nut off from off the ground and it has a shoulder to it kind of a a smaller radius that's down on the one side it's polished we want that facing outwards so that our switch can engage a little better so I'm just gonna rotate this switch and make sure it's nice and flush in there feels good I'm just gonna hand tighten it because if I put a um, a wrench to it it might split the 3d printing part so and then we're just gonna go grab our knob and just push the knob on from so that the white index mark is on the lower left because the switch is already turned off at the moment. Push that on there like that and then you can see I can have all the way up and then all the way down and off. Okay now that we know that one's okay we're gonna move on to the other switch and do the exact same process. I won't show that again but um, rest assured it's exactly the same. You've got these two pinks that are gonna go and attach to your red and white and then the other switch uh, connector here will go to your black. Um, follow the same exact process and you'll have great results. It's an awesome upgrade for your camper. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Please remember to also click subscribe button. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.